ARK Innovation, ETF. Look at that, it's down 50%. But you know what I think? I think Kathy Wood just might have the last laugh. Let's investigate. Hey guys, it is Greg again, going over the ARK Invest, ARK Innovation ETF. The reasons why I wanted to uh, go over this is because I found some interesting information about this fund that is uh, ran by Kathy Wood, where everybody is not liking her and her returns are down for the year 50% and actually over 77% if you take, include the whole year. But you know what I think? I think Kathy Wood's going to have the last laugh. And I think she knows it, okay? The reason I'm going over this, it's not so much to do, this has uh, crypto holdings in her portfolio. So, you know, she has like Zoom and Tesla, Block, um, other Coinbase and stuff. So it's uh, kind of a little bit, a little bit related to uh, crypto, but let's take a look at, oh, by the way, do me a favor, guys. I forgot almost. Hit like, hit subscribe. I'm trying to provide the content for free. And I would like to keep it that way. But if you do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. That would be great. Kind of spread this around a little bit more and uh, put a little bit more, I don't want to say, well, common sense into the markets and things because, um, you know, I'm watching a lot of things. All the perma bulls now are bearish, which is a good sign in my opinion. And everybody's insisting the Fed is uh, going to do quantitative tightening and that's going to hit the markets. Yes, it will. But it's not 100% guaranteed that the markets are going to go down. I've showed videos, I've showed charts where the Fed did quantitative tightening and the markets went up. Go check it, guys. Not you guys, but these other guys are doing these videos saying if they do that, it's 100% guaranteed. Everything goes down. And that's just not true, guys. So sorry about my little bit of a rant with you guys. So, all right, here we go. Here's Kathy Wood's innovation, ARK Innovation ETF. And uh, I think she knows what might be going on here next. Nice little sell-off, but look at this nice wave one up, okay? You can see that wave one up coming down into a two. And uh, this move right here, guys, you see I have that, uh, it's not really following the um, expanded flat rules per se, okay? But this is what that is. I doubt that this is gonna be a five bounce, five with it something like that it's a typical like almost a, like a crypto move okay down here to the 2.618 and uh what this is is uh this is a one two three four five there's a five wave within there and then it's just an extended five wave to bring it all the way down here to these areas more than likely to complete her second wave correction and then boom she's going off like this guys more than likely in my opinion and I think she probably knows that. That's why she's probably not too concerned really yet about anything. So that's why I think it's gonna happen with this fund. I do think that Kathy Wood is either, either there's, if you're a, bull, a perma bear, this is here, she'll have a bounce and this is gonna get destroyed. I don't think so. I think it's gonna start running up just right in this wave and it's gonna take it you know, a few years to uh, get up into these areas, guys. That's what's probably more likely going to happen. Something like in, in this area, she had a high of 156. She might be six, $700 down here, down the road in a while. Of course, a lot of big corrections along the way, you know, boom, and then boom, and then up, but some significant corrections along the way. So I just wanted to show you that guys that too. I also found some other thing that's interesting. Remember I was talking about how the February of uh, 2021, I'm going to take that off. The February... 2021 was the uh, date of the month that Bitcoin ended its uh, its cycle, at third wave cycle. And look at hers. It ended February 21. I just found that interesting. It kind of coincides with it. You know, everybody thinks it's May of 21. More than likely, it was uh, February 21. Let's take a look at her uh, RSI to see how it looks on the weekly, guys. See her RSI? So she's coming down in a five wave, so she's going to have divergence. But look at that. She's taking everything out. So her cycle right here, this area has corrected this whole thing. So this 
drop just corrected her whole cycle. So ARK Innovation ETF is getting ready to form a bottom more than likely and get ready to get out of there, in my opinion. The weekly looks good. Look at the three-day. You know, she's got that divergence there from that point to here. So, yeah, and coming down. So she's got a little bit more to go, more than likely, and then everything looks really good, nice and low. Check out the daily on the uh, RSI. You know, the divergence right there, that's okay. So it looks like on a daily, yeah, it's taking everything out right there. And she'll have divergence on that, on her move because it's uh, an impulse down. That third to the fifth will have divergence on those moves. So everything looks good, guys, with her uh, fund. I just want to put that out there because this gives me, I think in my opinion, this gives me a little bit more evidence about why, mm, I don't want to be get too boastful, but I think that I'm right. I think that with, how this ended, how her ARC Innovation ETF has ended, coming up for a correction, and then that coincides with a lot of the other crypto market. This is a little bit related to crypto. That's why I'm presenting her uh, her fund to you, okay? And that's the only reason why. Just want to make it short and sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, like, hit subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. New subscribers, I appreciate you too. Thank you. Peace.